morning guys hope you're all well just want to start by saying uh thank you to all subscribers i know i say it every time but i do appreciate it and since the last video the facebook page the group it's got a lot bigger now and there's a lot more people on there so feel free to head over to that and there'll be a link in the bottom in the comments and also at the start of the intro it's called budget self build camp fan club You'll find me on there. There's a lot of people in there now who are willing to help as well, which is good. So all sharing different ideas. So it's getting there. Really good. Thank you. But today's episode is going to be about foam. So there's a lot of places that sell foam and it can work out expensive. I was looking on places like eFoam, eBay, Amazon. It can work out expensive. I mean, what I've built in two sofas as a bed, it's, um, it's like a small, small queen mattress size that I need. So it can be quite expensive. I've seen one in Ikea, which I was going to cut down, and it was £99. Um, I think it was four inch. So... The other day, I happened to put a post on Facebook asking if anybody's getting rid of any old sofa cushions, any old foam mattresses, anything, just to test the water, see if I could get anything. Straight away, uh, somebody we knew, Hayley, she said she's got um, a single foam mattress, which we're more than welcome to. So I went out there and I was able to use it. So perfect. So thank you, Hayley, if you're watching. Um, and also on the marketplace as well, I found somebody getting rid of uh, two cot mattresses. One of them's brand new, as you can see. That. The one is still got the cover on it. So there's one brand new and another one which is nearly new, and they were free which they would normally cost about 40 to 50 pound each. So I got them and it's actually a perfect fit for the seats. It's slightly short at the end, but it's perfect. The 1.2 meters wide and by 60 centimeters, sorry, 1.2 meters length by 60 centimeters wide, uh, which is, is perfect. So we've got the two of them now and with the foam, uh, mattress. I'm going to cut them down for the backs. As you can see now, I've temporarily cut one down and I've got one for the other side as well. Which then, once the table goes down to make the bed, these two will go either end uh, to f help form a full mattress for us. These are pretty thick. So, and I couldn't go much thicker. I mean, I think I've got. Um, about four and a half, five inches here. Um, and I've got quite a bit of headroom still. My main concern was having the seats too high and then keep hitting our heads on the cupboards. I didn't fancy that. Uh, the other side, the cupboards are a bit lower, but it's still okay. So when you are looking at foam and stuff and you want to go for the thicker ones, always make sure if you've got anything above your head that it's still worth usable because we're okay here so i won't have no headaches while we're going away so but yeah i do recommend checking out places like uh, facebook the marketplace any free selling sites because you'll be surprised what you can get on there um throughout this whole build i've always been looking on there and I've managed to build half of my kitchen with free stuff, my worktop, um, the, the base that I've built for the, the brackets, for the bunk beds, they was free as well. Um, the wood that I've used to put brackets on, all free. So it is worth checking out other places as well before you buy brand new. Um, a lot of the wood that I've used, I've managed to get for free. The insulation, uh, not the insulation, sorry, the vapour barrier, which I've used on top of the insulation, the foil vapour, 
barrier which is called a thermal wrap I managed to save about £40 on that because somebody was selling it on the marketplace for £10 and it cost me £5 just to drive and collect it so it is worth checking out these places so I've temporarily cut them up already so what I'm going to do now is I bought some uh, covers off Amazon which were two for eight pound so I've got two sets of them so I've got um, a cushion a cover for either of the bases and then the back I've got two as well so I'll cut the one down in half to cover both of the backrests so yeah all good and also the foam this here you might be put off by cutting this but use a bread knife it may sound daft and i heard a few people say use a bread knife and i thought no surely a bread knife can't cut through this but it cuts it clean and nice and it doesn't rip it or nothing literally just a bread knife just cutting through i was, I was surprised at how well it cuts so i'll show you now me cutting the phone down and get these covered and we've got our seating area done then. All good. When the wife comes to help you, <laughs> and she ends up making her own little concoction. <laughs> what is it you're making? What was you making? <laughs> bug house. A bug house. A bug house. So I've got the two cot mattresses in the van already. I've put the covers on them and now I need to cut the back rests um, for the sofas. So straight edge, tape measure. I'm going to use a Stanley knife to uh, mark where I'm going to cut and then I've got the bread knife to cut the uh, foam.
what I'm going to do um, with the piece that's left over, um, I think I might use this for um, some cushions. Um, use quite a bit of it and can use that maybe for a pillow to save having to store pillows in the van as well. So I'll cut that down, make a few pillows for that as well. When you're cutting up the memory foam mattress, it goes everywhere. But go okay, all there. <laughs> It's underneath the sofa, it's everywhere. Oops. So the cushions are all cut now, um, <laughs> ignore that, I'm going to, um, behind the back I'm going to sew it together because it's a full sheet wrapped around twice, um, so yeah, that there I just need to um, sew down the side, so ignore that, yeah there's one, and there's the other, and same again there, I just need to Wrap it round tighter. So all good. Right then, let's turn it into a bed and see how that looks. All good. So it hasn't took me long to actually just lie it down into a bed. Um, quite impressed to be fair. I have made it quite snug, uh, quite tight. But what well, I've done that just so when you're lying down, you don't get big gaps in the middle. So I'd sooner have it slightly tight so you don't fall down any gaps or anything. So yeah, I'm happy. And is quite comfy. All good.
So it literally, it doesn't take that long to put it back into a bed either, um, into a sofa either. So I'm happy with that, all good. So literally all this has cost is uh, the price for the cot mattress covers, the the back area, the backrests and the seats were all free. So it's a bonus. Um, I probably will further down the line change the sheets from the covers to something more hard wearing, um, more probably be more waterproof and stuff like that because at least then if we are eating here and the kids drop um, a cup of pop or whatever at least then it's not going to soak our bed so I'm happy with that all good so if you like it if it helps good and feel free to come to over to the Facebook page if you wish So sofas are now all done. So we've got our sofas and our bed sorted. It hasn't cost me nothing other than the price of the um, covers, which I could have got for free as well. And they are really cheap. So it is worth checking on free sites. As I said before, one of our cut mattresses were brand new, still in a cover, and the other one was nearly new. Uh, the, the single mattress that we got, perfect, um, took the cover off that, cut it down, bang on, and I will be using what's left of that to make a couple of cushions, uh, which we can use for pillows and stuff, so, all good, um, yeah, so, thank you for watching it, I hope it's helped in some way, and give any kind of ideas, uh, feel free to come to our Facebook page if you wish uh, it's budget self build camper van club um, there's nearly 500 people on there at the moment from what's in today and everyone is happy to help each other so happy to give advice on anything so feel free to come over there and yeah I shall see you on the next video when I start the back doors which I'm hoping it will be the weekend I've got the cladding for it, um, but Friday my window should be coming, so I'll be doing the windows, and then start cladding then, all good fun, see you soon, take care.